Due to the increasing sanctions pressure from Western countries year by year, Russia is gradually shifting the focus of its energy export market to Asia, especially China. Data for the first quarter of this year show the remarkable achievements of this cooperation, the most eye-catching of which is the growth rate of imports and exports of natural gas from China-Russia pipelines. According to data released by the General Administration of Customs of China, Russia's pipeline natural gas transportation to China increased by 2.2 times, liquefied natural gas supply increased by 67.7%, and oil exports also increased by 32.7%. As China's demand for energy continues to grow, Russia sees huge business opportunities in this field and plans to increase its energy exports to China to a higher level. Russian President Vladimir Putin predicts that by 2030, Russia will aim to export 100 million tons of oil to China annually. However, this ambitious plan has caused concern and concern among some Indian scholars. They worry that Russia will give priority to supplying energy to China, which may lead to a slowdown in energy supplies to India. So, will this Sino-Russian energy cooperation really affect Russia's energy supply to India? In today's video, we'll delve deeper into this issue. We will analyze the far-reaching impact of China-Russia energy cooperation and how this cooperation can reshape the new pattern of the global energy market. As far as I know, the Putin government has begun to implement the principle of giving priority to delivering energy to China, and will allocate 100 million tons of oil every year to solve China's energy strategic security worries. In addition, Russian Deputy Prime Minister Novak stated during his visit to China that Russia has begun to accelerate the adjustment of its oil export strategy and once again regards China as the main breakthrough. Against this background, China and Russia started discussions on the prospects of the Vostok Petroleum Oil and Gas Project proposed by Russia. At the same time, Russia is already actively promoting the preliminary construction work of the project. I learned that about 200 kilometers of the approximately 700 kilometers of oil pipelines connecting Baywan Port and nearby oil and gas fields have been laid. In this project, Rosneft holds 85% of the shares, which undoubtedly demonstrates its control and dominance over the project. At the same time, a Chinese company participated in 10% of the investment, while a company in the United Arab Emirates held the remaining 5% stake. In future cooperation, China will be mainly responsible for the subsequent transportation and sales links to ensure that the oil extracted from these oil fields can be sold smoothly, thereby ensuring the successful implementation of the project. Russia's deputy prime minister in charge of energy revealed that the Russian government plans to build a new energy production area including 13 oil and gas fields in the Tymir Peninsula and its surrounding areas in the northernmost part of the Asian continent, relying on existing oil and gas fields. The production area is expected to have at least 6.5 billion tons of oil reserves, which will be continuously transported to the east through land and sea transportation. It is expected that by 2024, the project will be able to achieve an annual production of 30 million tons of oil, and by 2033, the annual output will reach 115 million tons. However, what many people may not know is that in 2022 alone, China imported more than 86.24 million tons of oil from Russia. It is expected that China's oil imports from Russia will grow at an annual rate of 30% in the future. This data shows that despite the project's huge annual production capacity, it is still difficult to meet China's growing annual import demand. This situation has caused concern among some Indian scholars. Since Russia has pledged to give China priority in supplying oil produced by the project, this may mean a significant delay in India's ability to obtain energy supplies from the project. Against this background, the concerns of Indian scholars are justified to a certain extent. In fact, energy cooperation between Russia and India is also steadily increasing, although perhaps not to the extent of cooperation between Russia and China. India also hopes to obtain priority energy supplies from Russia relative to other countries, but why would Russia choose China as its main energy partner? Russia's decision to regard China as its primary partner was carefully considered. 
Compared with India, which is geographically closer to the oil fields of the Persian Gulf and Southeast Asian countries with complex geopolitical relations, China and Russia have a solid foundation for cooperation, and the two sides are deepening cooperative relations in all aspects. Among Russia's diplomatic priorities, China is seen as a reliable option. On the other hand, due to construction time and cost considerations, Russia does not plan to build another pipeline similar to the Power of Siberia 2 to connect China from the Arctic. Instead, Russia plans to complete its main energy transportation by sea and use this to promote the development of Arctic routes. In this regard, China is an extremely suitable partner because China and Russia have already cooperated extensively on the development of Arctic routes. Considering that the main mode of transportation for the Vostok Petroleum Project is sea transportation, Russia needs to consider the security issues brought about by changes in the geopolitical situation. The route from the oil fields near the Arctic to the Bering Strait is basically within the scope of Russia's air defense defenses and is relatively safe. While the growth of Russian energy exports to China may cause some concern, India should also recognize that Russia is seeking to build broad energy partnerships with more countries. In the future, Russia is expected to make progress in balancing energy supplies across multiple markets to meet the needs of different countries. For India, although it will not have priority in obtaining Russian energy supplies, its energy cooperation with Russia still has huge potential and prospects.